हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर गौरव जंडियाल पीडियट्रिक ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन एट सी के बिरला हॉस्पिटल टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन प्रॉब्लम विच वी कम अक्रॉस इन आर डे टू डे प्रैक्टिस एज पीडियट्रिक ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन दैट इज बोन एंड जॉइंट इन्फेक्शन सो इन मेडिकल टर्मिनोलॉजी द इन्फेक्शन ऑफ बोन्स आर नोन एज ऑस्ट्यूमलाइटिस वेयर एज द सेम एंड हैपन्स इन द जॉइंट्स इज सेप्टिक आर्थराइटिस the most common cause of these infections is the hematogenous root that is whenever the infection or the bacteria is present in the blood it just gets lodged in the bones or the joints resulting in these infections the most common microorganism causing these infections is the staphylococcus aureus one important thing to note in these infections is that it is very common in the first decade of life there are several reasons for this first of all the structure of the bones is such that the bacteria gets easily lodged in the bone from the blood secondly the immune system of the kids is not very well developed and lastly kids are very prone to trauma which can result in infections as trauma is a very important risk factor for the same now joint infections and bone infections if not managed properly can result in joint stiffness joint deformities and limb deformities all these can lead to long term complications that is long term pain and walking difficulties so it is very important to manage and treat these infections as soon as the diagnosis is made now the kids usually present to us with the symptoms like pain fever difficulty in walk- walking pain in the involved or infected area all these are the common symptoms which we come across once the kids come with these symptoms we need to diagnose the infection as soon as possible after a thorough clinical examination we get a battery of tests like blood test to see the focus of infection x rays of the involved limb mri to see the extent of the involvement and sometimes a bone biopsy is also needed to confirm the diagnosis so once the diagnosis is made treatment needs to be started as soon as possible treatment depends on the type and severity of infection it could be iv or oral antibiotics to the surgical drainage of the abscess so the take home message is bone and joint infections can lead to long term complications and the management should be done as soon as the diagnosis is made so in case you have any questions regarding your kids bone or joint problems you can directly contact us at ckbirla hospital thank you